Hey everyone, so while I'm waiting for some new earbuds to arrive, such as a long-awaited Soundpeats H1 and a couple of new brands you may not have heard of, I thought it'd make a great time for another. <laughs> Between the Soundpeats True Free 2 and the Soundpeats True Shift 2. True Shift 2, it's hard to say. Anyways, I've received quite a few comments from you lovely folks asking about the differences because they are quite similar, except for in price. You can get the True Free 2 for as low as 30 US, about 36 Australian, uh, compared to the True Shift 2, which retails for about 37 US, about may low as 50 Australian as well. Now, I did pay for both of these earbuds with my own money, neither were sent to me, but despite that, you're gonna be getting my honest, picky opinion as usual. And look, there can only be one winner, so make sure you watch all the way to the end to see who comes out on top. As usual, I'll leave some affiliate links down below if you want to grab a pair maybe you want to grab both go crazy i'll also leave some timestamps down there because my videos are on the longer side but that's because we go in depth so if you're picky with your audio so am i and i'm here to help let's get into another picky review before we start get the iced coffee in it's all at the bottom hold up there it is. Mm. Ice coffee down. I've also had some pre-workout. We're gonna be charged up. We're gonna be stimulated for the picky battle here today. So let's get started. And as usual, starting with physical features and design. So both pairs have pretty much the same build quality. It's pretty decent for this price range, but there's three main differences. One is the size. The True Shift 2 is a bit on the larger side. The True Free 2 isn't that compact, but there's a little bit of a difference there. Second difference is the design of the ear fin. The True Shift 2 sticks out a little bit more uh, and you do get four sizes with the True Free 2 compared to three with the True Shift 2. Both work fine though. And the third difference is of course that the True Free 2 has a physical button compared to the touch surface on the True Shift 2. Now in terms of design, I honestly prefer the True Shift 2 over the True Free 2. Both are pretty good. Uh, I just like that slick sound piece logo. Just kind of smacking you right in the face there. But look, design is one thing. What's more important is comfort and fit. And that's where things get a little bit spicy. Now, both pairs provide a really secure fit. No matter what it is you're doing, running, weight training, flipping around, crawling, I don't know. There's no way they're gonna fall out. There's no way they're gonna budge as well. I'll rarely have to adjust these when I'm doing my weight training sessions or when I'm running. But I do prefer the fit on the True Free 2. The True Shift 2 has a pretty deep fit. And I get kind of a weird suction feeling when it's in my ear, which I don't really get with too many in-ear earbuds. And I normally prefer a deeper fit. Uh, and comparing this to the True Free 2, it's more of a moderately deep fit here, which I just find a lot more comfortable. And again, like both are really secure anyway. So the fit on the True Shift isn't deal breaking. I just prefer how it feels in my little ear canal with the True Free 2. So if that's something that you notice, you don't like your earbuds cramming all the way into your ear, and the True Free 2 are probably gonna be the go for you. Now, if you like to use your earbuds for long periods of time, both are on the bulky side, so I get a little bit of discomfort after about two hours, and both pairs are pretty much the same. Uh, so nothing too bad there. And if you wanna use your earbuds when training, both have an IPX7 waterproof rating. So that means they can be submerged in water, so they'll be fine with like getting sweat on them if you wanna use them in the rain. And I also tested both of these earbuds at the beach and see if they could survive the salt water. And they both survived, uh, but I'll leave a link to that vlog style of video uh, up here, wherever, down in the description below, if you're interested in a little bit of a different style of, uh, of video from me. That was a pretty fun video to make, so be sure to check that out, but watch this video first. So the clear winner here is of course a true free two, but keep in mind, fit can be different for everyone, but I hope my explanation helps you in deciding which one to go for. All right, on to case and battery life. Mm. Finish that off. <clears throat> Bloody human. All right, what are we doing? Case and battery life. All right, so let's start with the advertised battery life. So you're getting 20 hours total with the earbuds in the case on the True Free 2, compared to, let's quadruple that, 100 hours with the True Shift 2. But keep in mind that the case is about three times the size here. And you can also use a True Shift 2 case as a power bank to charge up some devices with its 3000 milliamp hour battery. So that's about the equivalent of charging an iPhone 12 one and a half times, but you can't use the True Free 2 case as a power bank, the little case. So wouldn't really make sense. Now, in terms of battery life of the buds themselves, in my testing at 70% volume, with the True Free 2, I just got over three and a half hours. And on the True Shift 2, I got five hours and 59 minutes. So big difference there if you wanna use your eBuzz for a longer period of time without charging them. Neither case has fast charging or wireless charging. Not really expected at this price range, but you can charge both cases via USB-C with the cables that are included. And you've got the same indicator lights on both cases, so you know what your case is up to. 
The magnets, though, are a lot stronger on the True Shift 2. No matter how hard you shake that thing, there's no way the earbuds are falling out compared to the True Free 2. Bit of shakeage, I fall out, but look, both still work fine anyway. And when you whack the earbuds in the case on the True Free 2, they'll always disconnect, no issues there. But on the True Shift 2, where we've run into a few problems here. Sometimes the earbuds won't disconnect on the True Shift 2 because the ear fin kind of covers the magnet. And I've got a lot of comments of people mentioning this as well. But recently, since recording this video, my left earbud sometimes won't disconnect even when the magnet isn't covered and it's working fine. So you can see here, what I can kind of do is I can kind of maneuver the left earbud, move it around a little bit a couple of times and then it will disconnect. And I have heard of this happening and I've seen some videos on like stories here and there, this happening to a few of my viewers. So look, this isn't ideal. I mean, I, I know Soundpiece is pretty good with their warranty, at least like on Amazon in my experience. So a little bit on the risky side, going for the True Shift 2 there. So that is a, a little bit of a deal breaker there, but moving on anyway. And like, I guess one of the big benefits of the True Shift 2 case is because it has so much battery life, you rarely have to charge it. I mean, I had the eBuzz for about two months and never had to charge a case. Pretty nice feeling. And I had a few occasions there as well where I had to commute to the city, brought my True Shift 2 case, charged my phone, had some bangers to listen to as well. And it was kind of convenient not having to carry around like a battery bank and some earbuds. That doesn't sound too annoying, but it, it was it was kind of convenient. I just hope uh, Soundpeats fixes this little issue in the future True Shift ranges. I know they will. Soundpeats, you're good. All right, on to touch controls. And right off the bat, both earbuds can control everything. I'll whack up either pair's controls here so you can see. And of course, the main difference here is the True Free 2's got the old physical button where the True Shift 2 has some touch controls which aren't the best. I mean, they work like 90% of the time. It's only when you go for like a double tap to pause or a triple tap to activate voice assistant. It doesn't work all the time. It's not ideal. I'm pretty picky with my touch controls, uh, but I do know Soundpeats have better touch controls out there, such as the, the three SE is really good and the True Air. They currently, they pretty much like work 100% of the time. So hopefully again, they improve this in future True Shift ranges. So obviously the winner here is gonna be the True Free 2. Since you have that physical button, it's a lot more reliable. Only downside is that when you press the button, like with the meaty part of your finger, it kind of pushes into your ear. But I find that if you just want to use like one finger, just using like where your nail is, it's not as much pressure on the ear, or you can kind of do the old pinch on the earbud, pressing in with the thumb. It honestly works fine. You get, you definitely get used to it. And another big pro of the True Free 2's controls and just physical buttons in general is that you won't accidentally activate touch controls when handling the earbuds. Here's an example. I'm at the gym, got a heavy set of deadlifts coming up, put on some anger fist. We're building up to the drop to get me going. And then someone comes up and walks to me, interrupts me, interrupts the vibe, but it's fine, you know, if I'm in a good mood, I'll just take the earbuds out, have a bit of a chat to them. If I'm not in a good mood, I'll tell them to get I wouldn't do that, maybe I would. But anyway, the thing here is you can just take the earbuds out and don't have to worry about holding them in a weird way to not activate the touch controls, skip the track and then you, you've lost your position. Grab the earbud, you can just hold them in the old fist, whack them in your pocket, doesn't really matter too much. It's just a small thing. This goes a long way though, so any gym goers, physical buttons, might be the way to go for you, so keep that in mind. All right, onto Bluetooth and connectivity, and on the True Shift 2, you got SBC AAC codex, which is pretty solid. Only SBC on the True Free 2, though, which is like kind of weird, but they actually still sound really good, even though they're only using SBC, and connection is still really good as well. So I thought that was gonna run into issues with that, but all good. With my Bluetooth range test, you're getting a better experience on the True Shift 2. I've got 95% in my indoor and outdoor test, with my outdoor test being 27 meters in a nice clear open space and the indoor test, 17 meters, downstairs, upstairs, through five walls. The True Free 2 did get 90% in the outdoor, which is pretty good. Indoor though, only got about 75%. So on the True Shift 2, you could go about three meters further in each of the tests there. So keep that in mind. Apart from that, connection is really stable on both pairs. The True Free 2 is probably a little bit more stable. The True Shift 2, there's a couple of random occurrences where like, you take the earbuds out, they won't connect. I've just kind of heard of more connection issues in comment sections about the True Shift 2 and people messaging me as well. So probably a bit more stable on the True Free 2 there. But on both pairs, you can use the left or right earbuds individually. It works really seamlessly. But with the True Shift 2, it works in mono mode. So you can hear both audio channels if you're using one earbud, which you don't get on the True Free 2. All right, onto the microphone test here. And I think both are pretty decent. I think the True Free 2 might block out background noise a bit better, but I'll whack up some tests here so you can hear for yourself. All right, so here's a microphone test with the Soundpeats True Shift 2. All right, so here's a microphone test with the Soundpeats True Free 2. Now I'm going to whack in some background noise playing off my computer speakers. Now I'm going to whack in some background noise playing off my computer speakers in 3, 2, 1. 
All right, so now I have a crowd noise playing off my computer speakers. All right, so now I have a crowd noise playing off my computer speakers. To mimic what it would sound like to take a phone call. To mimic what it would sound like to take a phone call. In a noisy environment. In a noisy environment. All right, before moving on to sound quality, a quick little drop of my Instagram. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you want to stay updated with behind the scenes action, what I'm currently testing and some of my random adventures. So link is down in the description below. All right, starting with volume and the louder pair goes to the True Free 2. The True Shift 2 at 100% volume is equivalent to about the True Free 2 at 90%. So you're definitely in depth territory at 100% on the True Free 2 and the True Shift 2 still goes loud enough. Maybe one more notch would have been nice for you volume junkies out there. And in terms of bedtime listening, I wouldn't say either pair of bedtime certified at the lowest volume, they're still pretty loud if you're looking for some quiet listening. And finally, passive noise isolation, a little bit better on the True Shift 2 with that deeper fit, but both pairs pretty decent here. All right, onto the sound. And this was a pretty tough one, but if I was to only choose one pair here as my favorite, I'd go for the True Free 2. You're getting a crazy amount of bass, maybe even one of the bassiest earbuds I've tested so far, but it still manages to maintain some pretty decent clarity with the treble being pushed quite far forward. It sounds really nice. The mid range is held back just a little bit, but still overall, you're getting a really fun bass heavy sound. And that's currently why the True Free 2 might be my favorite training earbud. But even casual listening, they're still a really fun pair to use. The True Shift 2 though, still is a bassy pair of earbud that goes quite deep. You're just getting kind of overall more bass on the True Free 2. But since there is less bass on the True Shift, you're getting an overall cleaner experience and the mid range is pushed forward a little bit more as well. So you're getting more clarity, which you may prefer. And in some cases I prefer as well. You're also getting a wider sound stage on the True Shift 2 and better instrument separation, but still the True Free 2 does a pretty decent job considering how much bass you're getting, probably due to that treble being pushed quite far forward. But so I can explain the sound further, let's run through my classic genre rating checklist and I'll run through each genre and let you know which pair I prefer. So as usual, starting with EDM. EDM's a tricky one, I'll whack in a tie, both sound really good, of course getting more bass on the True Free, Bit more clarity in the vocals on the True Shift 2 being a big driver in EDM. So look, either pair sounds really good. And this is pretty much the same for pop and radio as well. But for hip hop and r and I'm gonna give the True Free 2 the win here. Just when those bass lines kick in and then when that sub bass kicks in, you're just getting a huge amount of impact. It's deep, it's resonating. I prefer it on the True Free 2. Now with metal, another tricky one. I'm gonna lock in a tie here. Really depends what you like. I don't mind both. You get more clarity with the True Shift, more of a live heavy bass focused sound on the True Free 2. Both sound really good, both are quite heavy. Comes down to personal preference there. But with rock, I'm gonna give the True Free 2 the win here since there's not as much going on. You're getting a lot more impact. I think it just works a lot better with that big, heavy, punchy sound that you get with your rock tracks. And one of my favorite testing tracks is of course Enter Sandman and it just kicks in a little bit harder on the True Free. Now with Indian Acoustic, I'm gonna give the True Shift the win here. Just because on the True Free, sometimes the bass can get a little bit overpowering. The treble still sounds really good on the True Free, but the True Shift 2, just a little bit cleaner, gives more room for that instrumentation to come through. And this is the same with jazz as well. Again, sometimes the bass lines can overpower on the True Free and you kind of miss out on all those horns, a bit of that percussion with the rise and the hi-hats, all that kind of stuff. Both sound good, True Shift 2, a little bit cleaner. And with classical, I'm gonna give it a tie here as well. The huge bass on the True Free actually works really well. Gives you a nice big sound on the uh, the old classical tracks there. And your orchestration comes through a little bit better on the True Free too. You've got better sound stage. It's a pretty close one here, but look, again, kind of personal preference. If you want more bass or a bit more wider sound stage and better instrument separation on the True Shift too. All right, onto sub genres. You may or may not listen to these types of music, but if you do, hopefully it helps. And as usual, starting with one of my favorite genres, Hardstyle, and this is where the True Free 2 gets another win. With your sub bass and your kicks being the main driver in hardstyle and hardcore, you're just getting some, some crazy heavy live feels. It feels like you're at a nice hardstyle rave on the True Free 2. True Shift 2 still sounds really good though. Trap and dubstep, very similar to hip hop and R&B, so True Free 2 getting the win. That sub bass just kicks in a little bit harder, gets you pumping through the, the old trap and dubstep tracks there. But with side trance, True Shift 2 is gonna get the win here. Sometimes uh, we have a lot of bass, it's a little bit overpowering, doesn't really let the synths and that psychedelic sound come through, which you do get a lot more in the True Shift 2, and that wider sound stage works really well. You get that nice 360 degree psychedelic experience. Now with trance, I'm gonna lock in a tie here. Both have kind of the same amount of treble in a way. It's getting more bass on the True Free 2, so both sound really nice and big, euphoric. Both sound really good. 
They're both good. Either way you go, you're good. Techno though, I'm gonna give the true free to the wing here. It feels like you're at a nice live techno event. That bass kicks in really strong and I prefer it over the true shift. Now with symphonic metal, since there is more going on here compared to metal, I'm gonna give the true shift to the wing here. The true free two still sounds really good, but with better instrument separation and wider soundstage, it's a bit cleaner on the true shift two. And finally, does it degent? Yes, they both do. I'm gonna lock in a tie here as well. Similar to metal. Either way you go, you're gonna get a nice heavy sound. If you like your vocals being a bit further forward, go for the true shift. Uh, if you just want that heavy sound, true free two still sounds really good. Either way you go, you're good with your degent. All right, like I said at the start of the video, there can only be one winner here. And you can probably tell who the clear winner here is today, the old true free two. Considering how cheap they are, they're probably one of the best value earbuds you can get right now. And look, the TrueShift 2 is still really good. The big deal breaker is that issue with the magnet and the disconnecting thing going on. Look, it's not ideal. I'm hoping they fix this in the future. But if you want that big battery life, 100 hours of battery, and the fact that it can also be a power bank, that's also a bit of a handy thing to have there as well. And look, if you're a base head, either way you go is good, but you're gonna get a little bit of a better experience on the old True Free 2 here. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you liked the video, please chuck a like down there. Comment any questions you have, any earbud requests. I try to reply to all comments down there, so don't be shy. Please subscribe, hit that bell button so you're staying updated with all my latest and greatest videos because i got videos coming out every week. But in the meantime, stay tuned. And of course, stay picky with your audio because life's too short for crappy sound. See you in the next video. Bye now.